Well, the kiddos, if they are headed out with mom today and they do have any shopping, at least the earlier the better. It is going to be a sizzling Sunday. Gorgeous right now. This is a live look over at the Tarpon Lodge. Uh, this is in Boquilia. So we're looking at dry conditions with a mix of sun and clouds and maybe just a slight breeze in those palm trees. I wouldn't depend on them too, too much to cool you down. As I mentioned, it's just going to be a hot one right now. Temperatures a little bit more comfortable. 81 over at Fort Myers Page Field dry conditions. 79 over at RSW and 88 over at the Naples Airport. Plenty of sunshine right there as well. But as we head into the afternoon, we're looking at our highs maxing out near 96 degrees. When you factor in the humidity, that's going to put our feels like temperatures in the triple digits. So by 10 o'clock this morning, already going to feel like it's 100 degrees outside. No surprise here. That is why all of Southwest Florida is under this heat advisory starting at 11 o'clock until about 7 o'clock this evening. So make sure you're taking all of the proper precautions if you're headed outside. This is dangerous heat for today and I want you to stay cool when it comes to those rain conditions. I got to tell you, we're not expecting a lot to cool us down. We do have a frontal system to the north of us that's bringing plenty of rain. This is going to be to the panhandle and then we also at the surface have an area of weak high pressure that's forcing in that west southwesterly flow that's driving up the humidity even more. But a zoomed in look at radar shows we're starting with dry conditions first thing your Sunday morning and we're looking at a 10% chance or less of rain for today through your lunch hour. A couple of passing clouds. You might see a few stray showers after about 2 o'clock this afternoon and dry quiet conditions will persist overnight, increasing those rain chances slightly on Monday. We're starting off nice and dry for the Monday morning commute as we head into your lunch hour. Still dry, but after 3 o'clock areas east of I-75, you do have a chance of seeing isolated storms and showers. They'll dissipate right before sunset time around 8 o'clock in the evening. That's just the start of our increasing rain chances as that frontal system starts to move to the south. It looks like Thursday we're looking at the highest chances for rain over the next five days with a 90% chance of scattered storms and showers through the afternoon. So make sure you're planning accordingly for your work week. If you wanted to beat the heat for today and maybe get out on the boat, I don't blame you. No advisors for you out on the water. The winds coming out of the south up to about five knots. A sea is going to be a foot or less with a light chop on your inland water. So for today, that heat advisory with mainly dry conditions really going to be the focus. Highs maxing out near 96. Also looking at isolated rain chances for tomorrow with the heat sticking around. And even though we have those increasing rain chances through your work week with the highest chance for rain Wednesday into Thursday, we're still keeping that heat around. It's going to be in the low to mid 90s each and every day.